Hello, it's Mr. Matt, and we are here with Bedtime Bible Live, and I also have with me... Hi, I'm Anna. Anna up there. I'm ready to Anna, Anna, what? do you believe that if you jump, the ground is gonna, like, can't stop you? Like, it's gonna stop your fall, right? Yeah. You're not gonna just keep falling through the ground down yeah. into, like, the middle of the earth, right? And then come out the other side in China. You believe that the ground is gonna stop you, right? Yeah. Yeah, so get up there and let me see you jump. Let's see a big jump. Here we go. Oh, this is dangerous. Don't try this at home, kids. Wow, that's an amazing jump. So, <laughs> so you believe that the ground is going to catch you. How about this, Anna? Here, come here for a second. Come here. Ready? Just come right here. Now, turn around and face the other way. Okay, face this way. Now, do you believe that if you just fall backwards, that daddy's going to catch you and I won't let you fall down and hit your head on the ground? Do you believe that? No. <laughs> you don't believe? You believe I'm going to let you fall? Yeah. Because sometimes, sometimes I don't believe you because sometimes you're just going to do silly stuff and you're like, yeah. Well, do you think that I let you get hurt? No. No. So here, come here. Let's try it. I just want you to fall straight backwards and, I, and I'm going to catch you. Right here. No, where are you, do, where are you going? Not, back, not from up there, from just standing on the ground. Jeez, I'm trying to hold the camera too. All right, so you just lean back and I'll catch you. Go. Yep, see? <laughs> now I caught you. Now that's a little thing. That's a trust exercise, right? Now let's come over here. That's a trust exercise. And um, sometimes we do that with our teen groups, but kids can do it too. And to me, it relates to what we're talking about and what Miss Chelsea's talking about all month long in Kingdom Kids, which is faith. Have you heard that word, faith? Faith. Faith, right? Yep. So we're talking about faith. And come over here and sit down now, Anna. Here, let's just sit down on the edge of this weird slide. Here, it's come, not weird. Here, come here. You ready? Why? Can I'm you ready. sit down? You good? Yeah. Actually, I'm going to sit down a little bit further. And we've, we're talking about faith, okay? And um, this is from the book of James I'm going to go to, okay? James. And do you know who James was? James was Jesus' brother. Actually, it's his half-brother, but um, James was Jesus' brother. And James believed that Jesus was God. Like, if Luke said, oh, hey, I'm God, I'm, I just happen to be God in human form, would you believe? No. No. But James <laughs> believed that Jesus was God on earth. So, I mean, the fact that James believed that, that's like, to me, some pretty serious evidence that Jesus was really God. You know what I mean? And James was a teacher. He was a rabbi. He was a, um, you know, like a spiritual teacher, like a pastor. And um, he's talking in here about faith. So can you calm down now for a minute and listen? Okay. okay, thank you. So here's what James says about faith, okay? Listen. He says, What good is it if a person claims to have faith but has no deeds? Those are like things that you do, deeds. Can such a faith save him? Suppose a brother or a sister is without clothes and daily food. If one of you says oh, says to him, oh, go, I wish you well, keep warm and well fed, but does nothing about his physical needs, what good is it? In the same way, faith by itself, if it is not accompanied by action, is dead. But some will say, you have faith, I have deeds. Well, show me your faith without deeds, and I will show you my faith by what I do. You believe there is one God, good. Even the demons believe that and shudder. You foolish person, do you want evidence that faith without deeds is useless? Was it not our ancestor Abraham considered righteous for what he did when he offered his son Isaac on the altar? You see that his faith and his actions were working together, and his faith was made complete by what he did. And the scripture was fulfilled that says Abraham believed God and it was credited to him as righteousness, and he was called God's friend. You see that a person is justified by what he does and not by faith alone. In the same way, um, was not even Rahab, who was kind of uh, a, a 
a woman that didn't have a very good reputation. Look at there's a little bunny over there. Um, I can't. I really can't do that right now. Um, was not even Rahab considered righteous for what she did giving lodging to the spies and sent them off in a different direction. As the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without deeds is dead. So here's what they're saying. That's a lot of words, right? Did you understand all that? No. No, probably not. But here's what they're saying. And not any of Here's what, okay. Well, I'm going to explain it. You ready? Mm -hmm. Do you need to do anything to go to heaven and be saved by Jesus? Do you need to do anything at all, really? No. You just need to do what? Believe in Jesus. Mm -hmm. And believe that Jesus died on the cross, and by him dying on the cross, that bridged the gap for human beings to have a relationship with God. If you believe that, you're going to go to heaven. Okay? Yay! I believe it. But here's what James is saying. If you really believe that, and if you really, like, pledge your life to live for Jesus and to live in a way that honors God and to live in a way that builds God's kingdom, if you really believe that, James says we should see your actions kind of be like, like kind of reflect that. So as Christians, it's not just about us going to church and praying the prayers and, you know, putting on a good show. We should be living out our faith each and every day. We should see that if we have a true relationship with God, we should see that reflected in our life, right? Just like, um, just like if I take lighter fluid and squirt it all over the charcoal before I start a fire, right? I should see when I put a flame near there, I should see some evidence that there's lighter fluid on that charcoal. I would see a great big fire shoot up, right? Well, it's the same in your life. If you put your faith in Jesus and you really believe, we should see actions in your life that show people that you have a relationship with God. So what are some kinds of things that we as Christians should be doing? Like, especially in these times that we're in right now, what do you think are some things that we should be doing as Christians for the world? Staying safe and listening to the rules. That's good. Yep. What else? What if somebody doesn't have enough food? We should help them get food. Yeah, we should go get some food and give it to them, right? Mm -hmm. Does it do like, any... Like, Mommy, one time Mommy saw a man and he asked if he was okay. Yeah. That's right. And does it do any good if, if somebody's hungry and we just say, oh, well, we'll pray for you. Does that do any good? No. No, it doesn't do any good. we got to put some action what, to what, it. What does do good is when you get them food. Yes. If somebody doesn't have uh, enough clothes to wear, is it enough for us to just say, oh, well, we'll pray for you. Is that enough? No. What should we do? We should give them clothes. See? And also... I said to mommy today, someday I'm gonna give all my toys away to poor people. See, this is why Jesus said, in order to enter the kingdom of heaven, you need to have faith like a child. It's not complicated. It's very simple. Let's, <laughs> let's pray. You ready? Dear God, thank you for our time together, and thank you for um, the book, the, the, the letter written by your half-brother James. Um, his words are very powerful, and help us, Lord, to know that if we put our faith in you, and we truly believe that we should see that fire reflected in the glow of our lives. In Jesus' name we pray, and everyone said,